Hello and welcome to the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider, the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Brightwell alongside Natalie Pohl. The season is underway and uh, really a very good weekend out at Hawaii. Uh, you end up going, I believe, three and two. Yeah. First seed in pool play, you end up getting to the championship. We did. Um, it was nice. Uh, we, we came out ready to go. I was really happy about that. I think we were excited to be in some great weather, opportunity to play and see some live competition. And so um, definitely got off to a good start. We saw some good tendencies in our in our team. Um, excited to see some some kids step up and um, in different parts of our batting order. And um, so excited about us as we move forward. Pretty neat format that they have there allows you to get five games where you play. There's four teams there. You play pool play, then you go into the tournament. Yeah, it doesn't happen often. Yeah. Most of the time, we know every single scheduled game time going into a weekend, and you're playing for wins ultimately, but um, not necessarily a championship in a tournament. And so, uh, for us to be able to play in a situation where we have to fight to get into a championship game and then be able to defend that was pretty cool. Overall, I know three and two playing for a championship sounds good, but are you happy with the way the team played over the weekend? Um, in many ways, we did some really good things um, offensively as a team. We hit over 300. Um, there were some really brilliant moments from our pitching staff as well, and um, and I thought that we kept ourselves out of some big innings that could have, you know, where the wheels began mm -hmm. to fall off. We stayed out of those, and so we just need to do better. Um, we need to continue to work to be better against tougher competition. We'll see some tough competition this weekend coming up, and um, we need to make a couple better defensive plays in some certain situations, but um, definitely a good start. I think the girls like who they think that they could become, and we just got to stay on the right track. Uh, a couple of players, several players, not just a couple, uh, some honors this week. Let's start off with the all-tournament team where you got Brady, Sam, Gracie, Cheyenne, all made that all-tournament team. Absolutely. We had some kids that stepped up really nicely in the lineup from the top to the bottom, and, um, and so really proud of their performances, and I think they were excited to get off at a good start as well. And, um, you know, there were a few others who stepped up that did not make the all-tournament team, but really proud of those who did and get a chance to be honored by the tournament itself. Then you get one of the American Honor Roll this week in Sarian Davidson. We did. She had a great weekend. Really proud for her. She's a senior. Um, this is the best that she's done offensively for us and really proud for her. Um, proud for what she's contributed to our offense this past weekend and she definitely wants it and so um, be able to celebrate her after this first week and uh, for the a conference to honor her um, is really great. All right, you're going to go from Hawaii all the way to the other side of the uh, now the continental U.S. You're going to go down to Florida Gulf Coast in their tournament. We are. We have a quick turnaround. So today we're off and then um, tomorrow we practice. We get one practice in and then we've got to turn around and hit the road again. And so we do. We play UIC twice. We'll play Arkansas. Uh, we'll play Furman and um, and then one other team. But um, should be a good rounded tournament. I'm excited about them. Oh, it's Florida Gulf Coast, yeah. of course, who's hosting it. <laughs> Um, they're a really good competitor. They had a good first weekend as well. And so I expect them to have some good pitching this weekend that we're going to face as well as some good offenses. And so should be a good challenge for us. Going into this weekend and the season in general, as you just mentioned, the, the team kind of sees its potential, what they could be. How big was it to have that good start? Really good. You know, and we definitely address things that we felt like need mm -hmm. to be better. Uh, we'll talk about those a little bit more again tomorrow, just addressing some of um, maybe some of the inefficiencies that we had and just how to clean those things up, especially as we move forward. I mean, we've got a really tough conference road in front of us, and, and so to use these weekends and preseason as opportunities to correct some things so that way we can be the best that we can, you know, when it comes to that time is really important. And then every single win matters. We talk about that all the time. Every swing matters. Every, every win matters. And so... Um, we don't want to waste any opportunities here early on. All right, Coach. We'll talk to you next week. Thank you. That's Natalie Pohl. I'm Jeff Brightwell with the Wolf Case Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network.